Hey, good morning, Pastor Steve here. Character number eight, uh, my exit from anger. Ephesians 4, 31 and 32, we'll return to that passage. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. We started in this passage kind of an oversimplified view of how to deal with anger. And we said we need to have a proper motive, remember? And that should be the glory of God. We need to use any anger that we have as a strength to face and attack the problem, not people. We need to take the log out of our own eye. In other words, we need to... Um, um, admit our own part in the struggle or the argument instead of blaming other people. You know, there's a lot of good resources on the web that go into detail on these issues, but these simple reminders can help. You see, the wrong use of anger, blowing up or clamming up, isn't productive. See, the Bible says in James, the wrath of man does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Here at Ephesians, Paul wants us to work to get rid of, to put off aspects of wrong anger, bitterness that comes from holding a grudge. You know, Some of these devotions that we've had talk about forgiving those who have wronged you. Also, wrath, that explosive, heated anger. Getting rid of that anger itself to the root of anger in you. Proverbs 15, which says, uh, a soft answer turns away wrath, helps us with the clamor, the loud escalation of arguments. Okay. Um, evil speaking, remember we're supposed to use instead words that build up instead of cut down. And then malice is that ill will that we have inside of us toward people that's destructive. Instead, be kind and forgive. Why? Because God forgave you all your sins for Christ's sake. Illustrated in Alexander III was a Tsar of Russia from 1881 to 1894. His rule was marked by he was a really repressive Tsar. But his wife, on the other hand, was kind and known to be generous to those in need. Maria... Fedorovna. And one time her husband had signed an order consigning this prisoner to exile, and <clears throat> it simply read this, pardon impossible, comma, to be sent to Siberia. Maria changed that prisoner's life by moving the comma in her husband's order. She altered it to pardon, comma, impossible to be sent to Siberia. In Christ, God has changed the comma that stood against us from pardon, Impossible, sent to Siberia, comes the good news of salvation. Pardon, impossible to send to Siberia. Be kind one to another, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.